Hey, Richard, Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. How are you? Thanks so much for all your time at the show the other day. Let's take a look at the camper that we think is going to be the winner, winner chicken dinner for you. This is the 2023 Grand Design Imagine 2970 RL, rear living. So I thought we'd start on the roof because you rarely get to see that. This will have an 18 year warranty, 50 amps, two air conditioners. You'll have that 185, 165 watts of solar there. And that's wired into your inverter. So that'll run your awnings, lights, radio, and even your television. Uh, lots of extra caulking everywhere. Water is your enemy. So this is super well sealed, fully walkable as you can see. All the slide outs are actually walkable as well. And you'll have a digital wine guard air 360 TV and radio antenna there for all your local stations and whatnot. Uh, you'll have two great big awnings. We're a little bit tight here, so I'm not able to put them out for you, but you have a big awning on your slide out and a large awning on your campsite here above your door as well. So really one well done there. You'll have an R40 insulation factor on this roof and your front cap. That's where the head of your bed is going to be. So that's important. And you'll have a attic roof vent. So just like a house, I'm kind of in the way there. That one is a, uh, that'll take care of any condensation for full timing or winter time camping. I'm going to stick this in my pocket real quick. We'll jump down and look at the rest of it. So remember, Richard, we have the RV park here on site. And what that means is that when you do your orientation class, it will be at the RV park with everything on and running, including your sewer, your air conditioner, your water heater, the whole nine yards. So that's a big plus. And I highly, highly recommend for no charge to spend the night with us and that way you'll be 100% certain that everything's uh, working before you go set it up for good. The worst thing that can happen, in my opinion, is you get it all set up somewhere and something's not working. So we can eliminate that possibility for you. These are drop frame campers, so you have more storage than normal. There's your solar panel control charger, your shutoff valve, your hot and cold running water there for an outdoor shower. It's wired and braced for tire pressure monitoring system. If you wanted to add that, it's ready. And it has running lights here. As well. So we'll fill up your propane tanks for you, of course. Electric tongue jack. This has the new Furion tankless instant hot water. So you'll have limitless hot water. They have the same power cord connection as a motorhome nowadays. All your slide outs are laminated on the slide walls. R7 insulation factor on here, ladder to the roof, spare tire. You'll notice when we go inside, all these windows are the kind that can open up 50% there for you, so you get a good breeze no matter what. I can't get through there, so let's walk back around. I think somebody grabbed this one, but I have more coming in. I know you're a little bit down the road anyway. When you're ready, I'm ready. 100 bucks to put your name on one. And we can get the ball rolling. Let's remind you of what the interior looked like. You've got standard, the solid steps. Here's the interior for a reminder. Now I can't get this slide all the way out, so figure there's another half a foot or so in this living room. But you've got a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, microwave, three burner stove, a little oven, a large pantry. These are all solid doors, pocket screws, no staples, anything like that. 
That's a motion sensor light. Just about anywhere you want, these are motion sensors. So when you open up the door, it'll come on. Um, this counter space over here is really usable because you'll have 110 outlets on each side. So you've got four plug-ins there for wherever you want you to live there, appliance-wise. Hidden hinges, solid cabinetry, the big windows that I mentioned, all these windows open up 50%. The dinette is removable. You can make it into a day bed, set it flat for a day bed or just a guest bed. You can pull that out completely to put it outside, move it to one side or the other, so very versatile. The Recliners are heated with massage. And so after a long day of hospital food prep, this is your position. Fireplace is a functional space heater. So that will offset your propane usage substantially. I'm trying to use my zoom. There's my zoom, kind of, not really. <laughs> I swear to God, I will never be a video photographer. Why isn't that working? Well, now I'm zoomed in permanently. Hang on. Come on, baby. What? All right, there's back to normal. The couch will make into a bed. That's a trifold, so that'll make into a long, comfortable bed for guests when you have them. You have storage above that couch. More storage above the television. That's a smart TV, so that's a Roku by TCL. So you can stream your Netflix or what have you right off the get-go. The island has 110 outlets everywhere you need them. Lots of island space here. Metal sink, not plastic. Big uh, pot and pan drawer there. Some more storage. Here's your instant hot water heater controls. We'll show you how to use that. This will pop on as you walk by it so it's lit when you need it and not when you don't. That's your exterior light. That's your awning light. Here's your main ceiling light here. And then in the bathroom you'll have a porcelain toilet, not plastic. A little extra storage, more than most. Lots of towel storage in those little cubby holes. Those go about four feet back. More drawers. And this shower door is the same one they use in the Airstreams. And that will squeegee off the water as it opens. And that way there's nothing to clean. But a big shower, very tall. And then your bedroom will be a queen bed. True 60 inch by 80 inch queen bed with storage underneath. That has a sliding tray for better use of your space. That's nice. The lights, as you can see, can either be a uh, nice blue night light or a reading light, whichever you want. And then in these cubby holes, you have 110 and USB. And these cubby holes are designed such that they fit the top five selling CPAP machines, if you ever need one of those. Storage above your bed. Remember, this is an R40 insulation factor. Closet on each side. Drawers on each side, more 110 on each side, so you have way too much, too many plugs. And then this one has the additional closet at the foot of the bed. Again, the motion sensor light, Some big deep drawers. Remember, these have the blackout shades. I can find it in here. And then you'll have two thermostats, so you can have it a different temperature in here. That's a factory installed ducted AC in your bedroom. No vents on the floor. For a lot of reasons, that's good. Almost everybody's kind of copying that now. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, send you a little video of this one as promised. I think this was the winner winner chicken dinner for you. And I'm ready whenever you are. So I will text this to you, Richard, 
My number is 406-696-4750. 406-696-4750. That's her. Montana number. Buta, Texas location. 100 bucks to put your name on this one, Richard. I'm ready when you are. Let's go camping.